guys, it's Judith from JV Art Resources and thanks for watching today. I'm bringing you a video from my inspirational journey series. This is where I talk to an artist, find out a little bit about their past, what it took to get them to where they are today. These are artists that have digital downloads, or tutorials, CDs, DVDs, they teach classes, um, they travel around and put classes out or craftsy classes and um, that to me is an artist who has made it. If you can do all that and you can work on commissions and uh, it's just so inspirational to be able to do that um, as your career and to make money at doing that and I always wanted to uh, find out how somebody got to that point. So that's what this inspirational journey series is about is how you get to this place. So today's featured artist is the amazingly talented Karen Hull. And that's Karen right here. And I've been following her work for a while. I've done many of her, t her tutorials. And she's a wonderful instructor. And um, even on her digital downloads, they're very simple to follow, step by step. Uh, you really can't mess up if you just pay attention to what she says. It's all very clear. And I wanted to show you one thing before we go on with her story. This is on drafting film. She does many different surfaces. Um, she also offers, um, I believe there's a scratch board. She offers a uh, tutorial on um, a wood wood surface and um, just regular paper too but she also does drafting film and um, I never worked on drafting film before and I was very new at colored pencil and very new at animal portraits and with her instruction I was able to create something similar now it's not without its problems but uh, in comparison to this of course but to be able to do something like this just by taking one class is pretty amazing to me and that's because of the wonderful instruction so um, that's why Karen is my featured artist today because she's a, a, an amazing artist and you need to go check out her website and you could see what she has to offer and her Facebook page and this class right here that's gonna be a crafty class at the end of November and you do not want to miss that especially if, if you are interested in doing colored pencil portraits then this this is the class for you. So thanks so much for watching today and um, my new format is going to be question and answers. I'm going to be reading to you from Karen and the whole time some of this work but lots of other work from Karen will be coming upon the screen in a digital format so you can see it really nice and close up and you don't have to look at the top of my head either. So let's get going on that and I'll see you at the end of this video. Thank you. I'd like to now read to you Karen's questions that I asked her. Just a few. First question. How long have you been an artist? This is a funny question, she says, because when you first start doing art in a serious way, you feel hesitant to call yourself an artist. And people ask, at what point do you think of yourself as an artist? And I've been a full-time artist now for six years. I love doing art since the moment I first held a pencil. I feel the artist is within and not necessarily something we become. My second question, when did you start using colored pencil? From the moment I can hold a pencil in my chubby hand, so probably from the age of one or two. And since then, it has always been my favorite art medium. What was your first official teaching job, tutorial, class, or book? I put my first art tutorial out about six years ago. It was drawing this little kitten on map board. I first started creating tutorials in response to all the emails and questions I was getting about the technique I used, especially in relation to drafting film. Did you have anything or anyone keeping you from pursuing art as a career? Only myself, she says. I was nervous about leaving behind my nursing career, nervous about the drop in income, and letting go something that had been such a big part of my life for so long and I worked so hard to achieve. But nursing has changed over the years, and I was no longer getting the same sense of satisfaction from my nursing career that I had, and I was coming home very stressed. So it was my husband that urged me to take the jump to leave nursing and to try my hand at being a full-time artist. My family was also more than supportive. I think most of my friends thought I was retiring and definitely had the perception that an artist is not a real job, but something that you do on the side for a bit of fun. I even asked one of my friends if she thought it would be possible if I could make a career out of art, and she said no. 
but I wasn't put off by that at all, and I'm so grateful that my beautiful husband encouraged me to make the jump and then supported me every step along the way. If you had challenges with family or friends or discouragement, how did you get past all that? And if possible, please tell us what those obstacles were. Karen's reply. I didn't have challenges as such, but there were the occasional remarks that did sting a little, mainly related to art being a hobby rather than a real job. At the end of the day, I just had to stay true to myself and follow the path I seemed destined to follow. Doors opened up along the way that I never envisioned for myself, and all this helped to reassure me that I must be on the right path. Facebook as well was a huge source of support, especially when working from home when you can start to feel very isolated. And my last question for Karen. If you did not have any challenges in pursuing a career in art, please tell us what inspired you or helped you get to the level that you are right now. I never stopped being inspired. Sometimes it's not even about being the best artist out there. It's seeing how art can transform people who are battlers and the art brings them such joy, it's like a form of therapy. No matter what level artists are at, most of us share a hunger for the learning about techniques and mediums, and I love not only to share what I've learned along the way, but to hear what others have learned as well. I love watching the involvement of people's art as they excitedly find their own niche and their own art styles develop. Anyone creative is inspirational to me. I am not driven by money or success, but I am driven by the need to create and to help others fulfill their need to create. And for me, that is the most exciting part about being an artist. Thank you very much, Karen. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to answer all these questions for me. You are very inspirational to me. You always are. And I am sure now many other people will see that as well. So thanks for watching today, guys. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next week, I'll be bringing you another artist, a product review, a tip, a resource. You never know. Something for colored pencil. Please take time to create. Do that for yourself. And I'll see you back here next week. Take care.